Making the Korean headlines in recent weeks has been sexual violence in sports. There have been allegations of physical and sexual abuse in speed skating, judo and taekwondo. Today, the sports ministry has revealed some measures it's going to take to put a stop to it. Uh, Won Jung Hwan has this report. At a meeting of the Sports, Education and Gender Ministries on Friday, the Ministry of Sports gave more concrete details of its proposed measures to deal with the recent sexual abuse revelations in sporting circles. Human rights violations in sports have not improved even after some overall inspections over the last 10 years. We are deeply to blame for being blind on human rights violations toward young people in the country, and we are putting measures in place to prevent this from happening again. Firstly, led by the National Human Rights Commission of Korea, the ministry is launching a special investigation team for sexual abuse cases. The special team will begin their work by conducting an independent investigation of past cases and a fact-finding probe that will eventually lead to sports policy improvements. The second move is to strengthen disciplinary measures against perpetrators in sporting circles. The ministry said it will revise the related regulations to foster an environment that doesn't jeopardize victims' careers when they speak out. While the ministry seeks permanent expulsion for any perpetrators if needed, it said that any other personnel in sporting bodies attempting to cover up or downplay incidents will also be punished, possibly even with jail time. Lastly, the ministry will launch a committee to overhaul the elite sporting system so that athletes have more protection and brutal training practices are halted. It pointed out that in order to eradicate sexual violence, there is a need to conduct a comprehensive review of the system that focuses on fostering elite athletes through fierce competition. The sports ministry first laid out its plans to root out sexual violence in sporting circles on the 9th of this month. Now that the ministry has come up with these detailed measures, it needs to put them in place as soon as it can in order to create a safer environment for the nation's athletes. Won Jung-won, Arirang News.